Hello, I'm Diane Habino of the Many Faces of Peace Corps. It's an initiative of the Museum of the Peace Corps Experience. A couple of years ago, President Pat Wand and others established an exhibit for the 60th anniversary of Peace Corps volunteer stories. But these stories came from almost all white Caucasian volunteers. So Many Faces of Peace Corps was established. We encourage volunteers in the wide diverse Peace Corps community, especially those from underrepresented groups to share their stories. We work with the Oral History Archives Project and affiliate groups of the National Peace Corps Association. We collect and exhibit stories and objects from all volunteers. Today, the Many Faces of Peace Corps continues to focus on bringing the voices of our community to share with the public. In December of last year, we held a successful forum entitled Identity, Culture, and the Peace Corps Experience. We had an RPCV author who wrote of Black volunteers working in Africa. And we had a panel of volunteers of color who explained how their own identities affected their cultural adaptation and Peace Corps service. This fall, we'll hold another forum of more recent RPCVs and host country staff who will share their Peace Corps experience. We will also reflect on the pathways we've taken post Peace Corps in seeking allyship in today's diverse, but also very polarized world. Here are some volunteers who represent the voices of our Peace Corps family. Let's actually make a campaign and go out and get their stories and find out what their experiences are like and be transparent about those experiences as well. And one day I was like, well, can we stop writing this in our papers and just call it like something like the many faces of Peace Corps? And that's how that just stuck. <laughs> I was I was not the only African-American in my group. I went over to Guinea, West Africa in 1994. There were about 55 of us total. There had to be at least six or seven Black people. That was a lot of people uh, in a group. I had a great experience. I came home and I worked for the Peace Corps. And I was able to recruit African-Americans and people of color simply because I looked like them. And I had a story that they wanted to hear. You know, Black girls wanted to know, so what'd you do with your hair? And people wanted to know, so how did they treat you? How did they receive you? What was it like? And questions that they would not have necessarily asked a non-Black uh, recruiter. Hi, Zach Klim here, director of the Museum of the Peace Corps Experience. I'm a champion of the work of the Many Faces of Peace Corps team. Their focus on diversity and inclusion at the museum is essential. Inclusion at the museum means creating a culture of involvement and connection in which the richness of diverse ideas, perspectives, and backgrounds is valued. Thank you for your consideration of our work for the 2023 Rupee Award. We see the award as a beautiful way to recognize the contributions of former museum president Pat Wand and so many others to uplift underrepresented and marginalized groups and celebrate the similarities and the differences of our lived experiences. If you're not already a member of the museum, please visit our website and join us. There are many ways to help preserve Peace Corps history, and we have lots of exciting announcements coming this fall. 